so it is Sunday, March 17th, I do know the day. Um, and yeah, so it's, oh my God, my head's gonna explode today. It's going to explode, um, really. I'm like on the verge of having a panic attack and just too much going on. And I think it's mostly probably just in my own head. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think it's mostly just probably in my own head. So this is what's happening. It's been a large week. So I need a car. I need a car. I've been saying that over and over again to go to Ontario with. I have a car. It's an 06 Corolla with, I don't know. I don't know how many kilometers on it. 18 something million. I don't freaking know. My dad thinks that I need a newer one um, because he's not going to be there to fix it, which makes sense, which makes sense. He wants me to have a reliable car that um, I won't have to worry about in case something happens and he's not there. It'll last me. So he's on the hunt for a car for me and he's on the hunt because I know nothing about cars. Really, I mean a little bit, but really not anything. Dad's a car guy, so. Um, yeah. But now we're down to 30 days. <laughs> and still never found a car, so. He doesn't think my car will pass it out of province inspection. Everybody else does, but not my dad. And dad's never wrong, so. Um, I do have faith in that. <laughs> but, you know, we don't want to spend a whole lot of money. So, anyways. Him and mom just left. They drove to Halifax two hours away because he has a lead or he found one. It's 2010 Pontiac vibe, bright orange. I don't know. I don't, you know, I really don't care. I don't care what it looks like, what color it is, as long as it works and it gets me from A to B. I really don't. I never have. That's just how it works. I, no, I didn't go because it doesn't matter. I don't know anything about them anyways. Apparently it's a good price. Anyways, yeah, so he thinks uh, he has to fix a few things on it, looking about like $5,000. Which is great. It's great. It's if Jen doesn't have any money. <laughs> yes, I've been living here saving for the last few months, but like not a lot because I'm not going to have a job when I go up there. And, you know, I don't want to move on bride and not pay half of the rent the first month. I don't know. So I, it's just too much. My brain can't handle this today. It just can't. So, Dad's going to find a car. Um, yeah. And I'm just panicking because I'm like, okay, we could sell mine and get this amount of money. Still waiting to do my taxes because I have a mystery T5 slip that says there's a bank account somewhere that I uh, have been gaining interest on forever, but no bank that I've ever belonged to can find it. So there's a mystery bank account out there with my name and social insurance number on it. So I have to wait to do my taxes till they figure that out. Um, yeah, fun stuff. Um, so that's part of my week. Then work was work. Too much to even talk about. The whole thing. Uh, so I'm leaving. I mentioned in November. I was thinking about leaving. Christmas, pretty sure I was. <laughs> gave them a timeline. Pretty spot on for that timeline. Officially gave my notice the 1st of February. So now it's two weeks out from my original end date. They don't have a manager. I agreed to stay an extra week, which is, you know, good for them. <laughs> um, hopefully they can find somebody. We did have somebody and it fell through for whatever reason. I feel like I'm actually being blamed for that reason, which I don't appreciate because I'm not. Um, so I hired three new people on Monday. By Saturday, two of them <laughs> not good. Owen was a student, she found another job that suits her schedule. She came in and spoke to me about it and it was great and I appreciate it because it's happened. It's totally happened and I'm not mad or irritated with her at all. I think it's great for her. She's a really great girl. So that left me down to two. The second person called me about an hour before their first shift. Something came up and they can't come in. So we have them scheduled again this week and I'm really hoping they show up. But if you have to show up for your first three hour shift, I'm not really going to hold my breath on that one. But the first girl we hired picked up those shifts and she's fantastic so that I'm not too worried about but um, my two staff members that have been with me there since the beginning pretty much um, are both done the end of this week so come Friday it's going to be me and the new girl which you know you don't want to put too much pressure on a new person overwhelm them and a girl that's been there with us since like October who's good so yeah, I mean, we can do it with the three of us, that's fine. And they have to find a manager. I don't know. 
but uh, just a lot of stress and pressure and I've actually lost my voice the last two days. Still see it's kind of cracking up because of the stress. Uh, my brain is going to explode. I've been online sending out resumes like crazy and of course no biting because I'm in Nova Scotia. Who's going to call a girl in Nova Scotia for a job in Peterborough? Right? Like I totally get that, but I'm hoping Brian thinks that I'm very employable, which I, I guess I am. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but I am, I guess, you know. Like, oh, oh, fuck it. Sorry. <laughs> so, I don't know. But it's just still stress. Not sure about unemployment. Went to see them the other day. Somebody that really has messed me up, actually, two other accounts with unemployment. She doesn't really know what she's talking about, and I do not understand how she's still there. So, I have to go back this Wednesday when I'm off and speak to somebody else. So, yeah, so my dad might find me a car today, and that's fine, it's $5,000. $5,000 in my bank account, but that's okay. It's okay. I guess I'll just have to make payments. Um, yeah. So my head's going to explode. My head's going to explode. And then I was looking at real estate the other day just to know what we are up against when I move because we're definitely going to have to move to a bigger place. And, you know, there's some nice spot places like three bedroom, two bedroom duplex style not too bad you know um, and they're twelve hundred dollars a month most of them include it everything included which is really good we could do that for sure because Brian's paying close to a thousand now by himself so we could but Ontario is a little different <laughs> they want first and last month's rent so it's twenty four hundred okay so we have to you know figure that out and still pay the rent for the place we're living in okay we can do that so I need to find a job <laughs> So, it might be a little bit longer before we move. That's okay. It's okay. Uh, so that's where my brain is right now. Oh, and today is St. Patrick's Day. So it's my sister Patricia's birthday. Is she still not talking to me? <laughs> uh, still can't really talk about why, but it's fine. Um, but she's not. I sent her a message. I hope she got it. Wishing her a happy birthday, telling her I love her, because I do. Oh, God, Trish, I do. Um, so that's weird. It's like the first time in many, many years that I have not been with her on her birthday. And uh, so that hurts just a bit. And it's March break. The kids are on March break. It's the first March break in like four years or something. More than that, that I haven't been down there. I've always taken some vacation days and gone down on March break and watched the kids. And hung out with them and played with them or they've come here. And I am not seeing them. So that's really strange and uh, hurts a bit. Uh, more than a bit, actually heard someone. I was hoping we would be able to resolve this before I left, but I don't think we are. And uh, I'm gonna start crying, so let's not do that. It's Emotional Sunday, and I really just miss Brian <laughs> a lot. I miss you, babe. Like, tremendously. You have no idea, and I'm being all sappy, but I do. I miss him. Can't wait to see him, and yesterday was not a great day at work. Like, work was actually fine, and I worked with good people yesterday, and we had a good time, but like the stuff in the back of your mind like we don't have a manager and they made an offer to someone on the weekend and nobody's told me have they accepted it have they not accepted it I've reached out nobody will answer me so I'm trying to do a schedule for the next three weeks and I don't know if this person said yes or no or what's going on so I'm kind of feeling like left out tremendously and I'm like I'm still there and I'm still the boss and I feel actually useless and not good so and frustrated because I'm like why can't somebody just say yes or no to me I get the impression that they're just people are irritated with me and I didn't do anything wrong and I'm actually offered to stay an extra week and like I'm doing the best that I can and I gave plenty of notice <sighs> so that was all in the back of my head yesterday and of course my lunch Brian calls me and She's like, how's work? And I'm like, well, you know, I'm still dealing with this. Other than that, it's fine. And he's just like, leave. Leave. 100% he supports me, and he does. And it's, nobody's really, I've never been in a relationship with somebody that said that to me before. And I know that he, the best part is that he meant it. And so that was like, oh, I'm not leaving. I committed to something and I'm staying. So but part of me wants to, but I can't do that. It's just not in me. But it was nice to hear that from him. Really nice to hear that from him, actually. So it's good. Maybe miss some more. I can't wait to get up there. 
and today is actually our 12 our 12 year for anniversary on Facebook me and Brian like that's funny I seen that this morning and I'm like my god 12 years on Facebook 24 in real life that's crazy um yeah so my parents are going to look at a car I'm having a mental breakdown because it's coming up really quick like literally 30 days I feel like vomiting so I'm gonna go power clean my parents house which get rid of some of this anxiety which I should be doing anyway since they're letting me stay here so nicely of them so I am definitely gonna go scrub clean everything and sweep it out here and my dog's being an asshole Charles he won't even look at me for like four days I've taken him for walks and everything he won't look at me when we get home he won't sleep in my bed nothing He's being a little jerk. I tried to pick him up, take him to bed with me last night, and he growled at me. So, yeah, that's my life. Um, probably actually gonna cry <laughs> for like 20 minutes and then psych it up and do what I gotta do. So, yeah, Jen Speak Adventures, fun stuff. Fuck, what the hell was I thinking? <laughs> Still, that's my mindset today. In the back of my head, I'm like, man, maybe Brian's not gonna get on that flight. I know he is. <laughs> At least I hope he is. But it's like so overwhelming <laughs> for both of us. I don't know. So, anyways. Yeah, that's my day. That's my day. That's my day. Maybe I'll have a car at the end of the day. I don't know. Bright orange. Fine. <laughs> fine. <laughs> <You know. laughs> it's fine. I don't even care. I just don't. I just want to be done and under budget. Okay. Bye. <laughs>